and welcome back to my channel. In today's review, we're going to be taking a look at the Takara Tomy Movie The Best MB19 Hound. This is a brand new figure released by Takara Tomy. It is based on the Hound mold from the last night with additional pieces plus some paint applications. As always, we'll bring the packaging in for a brief look. Starting off with the packaging, we've got a very nice image of Hound from the last night. We've also got some stills from the various other movies. The side of the packaging, two has stills from each of the movies you know you've got the last night age of extinction dark of the moon revenge of the fallen and the first movie the back of the packaging showcases what the figure looks like in both the vehicle mode as well as the robot mode and really and truly i did only buy this for the accuracy as you can see the vehicle mode is a lot more accurate and it also comes with the age of extinction voyages weapons turning the packaging around again you just have transformers and an autobot insignia so overall the packaging is fairly detailed although not in english you can definitely see what Takara Tomi are trying to demonstrate. Here is the figure himself. Now, it is exactly the same in terms of molding as the, the last night standard release. The only additional piece is this entire back section is separate, so I will demonstrate that in just a bit. As you can see, we've got the machine gun hanging out on the back. Taking that off for a second, you can just see that it is different shades of green on this top section. And bringing in the original version, as you can see, the new movie, the best one, is a darker green and does have significantly more paint applications. They have also filled in that entire back section, which is actually accurate to the movie. The standard release just had these turret weapons at the back, which didn't look bad, but these weapons didn't really play for anything in the robot mode. They were very lackluster and definitely didn't give you that sense of Hound being the armory guy. As you can see, this one has just improved so much better from this version. Now, they don't include the medic symbol, as many speculated. They have just left these white markers all up throughout, which are accurate, but in the film, he does actually have the medic symbol. I do believe that is to do with licensing, though, or something like that. Um, looking for difference in paint apps, we have got a serial number at the top. I'm not particularly sure if that's accurate to the movie. The front looks very similar, though. Turning it around, you can see that this section has been blacked out. The, wheel, the hubcaps of the wheels have been painted green and of course it has this entire back section. There's no paint on the rear of the vehicle but overall the vehicle mode looks really really cool and is definitely a lot better than this version with that added new piece. Now showcasing this extra back section in order to remove it you do just need to wiggle it off and it does just peg into the back section via a peg. Now once this is removed you can see that all of Hound's armory weapons do store in this which I think is a really cool touch. They all have their own specific spaces to peg into. These are all the Age of Extinction Hound's weapons so there are none that are brand new moulds. However I'm extremely pleased that Takara have included these weapons and as I stated before the old version's weapons really were quite lacklustre. Here is the other weapon. This is the machine gun that folds up and can tab into the side of this. Taking a look at the weapons, he does come with a pair of these shotguns, which have been detailed very nicely. He's also got some grenade launchers in there, as well as some mini pistols. And the detailing in the actual shield or the back section itself has been replicated extremely nicely. As you can see, you've got all that ammunition detailed in there. However, none of it painted, which I didn't really think it needed to be painted. But as you can see, all that ammunition and you've got some missiles in there. So it's really nice that Takara have included some details in this and not made it bland. Now, when it's in the robot mode, you are supposed to fold it out like this, and it is actually supposed to house some of the weapons. So you can actually plug, for example, these weapons into the top and have Hound look as if though he is shielding himself behind it and firing the weapons at the same time, which I think is really cool. As for the vehicle mode, without this back section, it is essentially a repaint of this figure, minus the cannons. So you can see that the only brand new thing from this movie the best hound is this back section. I'm not going to show you the transformation as this figure has been out for some considerable time now, at least this mold at least, so I will just skip straight into the robot mode. Now here we have the figure in his robot mode. Now in the vehicle mode this was really the element that shone the most and was the most noticeable in terms of differences. In the robot mode however I actually believe the paint applications really really shine through on this brand new hound. I will bring in the previous version in just a second to compare as you can see, the, this version of Hound has been given a much more premium paint job. We've got some really nice metallic details in the torso section. The bullets at the top have been painted. This entire vest section has been painted a darker green in order to segregate it from Hound's chest. We've got the medic symbol at the top without the actual cross in it. 
These headlights or faux headlights have been painted as well. And all the way throughout, he's been given this really nice gunmetal silver throughout just to highlight some of the finer details. We've got the gunmetal on the arms, and we've got the green missiles and the orange sections, which has been picked out fairly nicely. The back of the robot is still fairly bland. We do just have the vehicle kibble on the back. However, the front appearance definitely looks really nice. Now, bringing in that previous version of Hound, this is where you're going to notice a stark difference in terms of the colour. As you can see, Takara have actually used a darker green plastic. This is a much lighter green and I would say a lot more toyish in terms of appearance. This definitely does look more like a collector's piece. As you can see, the details have just been completely different. Whereas this section had this kind of grey paint over the top, this one's been given the darker, more accurate green. And all the way throughout, a lighter gunmetal grey has been apparent rather than this dark grey. And the missiles are completely different colours too, just comparing those there. As you can see, these are more dark, that's actually been given some more nice paint. The helmet, as you can see, you've got the white section at the top. And on the original version, the headlights at the top are not painted. So overall, for differences in terms of paint applications, this figure is vastly superior than this previous version. Now, obviously, as I spoke about in the vehicle mode, he does come with a plethora of different weapons. As you can see, I've got the two shotguns on here. He does have the pistols that we see him use in Age of Extinction and The Last Knight. And as I stated, you can turn this into kind of like a barricade slash rack. You can put all the weapons on top of it and it looks really cool. Now you still have that same feature as you did on the Age of Extinction Hound. You can combine all these weapons into one big weapon. However, I do find that that does stress the weapons and they don't actually tab into the ports as well as they initially did. So I wouldn't advise that you combine the weapons, especially not these shotguns as when you combine them you do use these ports which are the same ports that you use in order to tab it into this section. Now this is not only used as a display piece, you can actually incorporate it into the figure just removing the weapons like so. You can make it as a shield. It does have a handle on both ends of it as well as this nub which is what you use to peg it in vehicle mode. Just pulling out one of these shotguns, you can just plug it into Hound's hand and have him have a shield and he holds it really well as well. Of course, you can also plug some weapons in there as well to make it look like he's using weapons whilst protecting himself. It's not a feature that occurred in the movie. However, I definitely do think it suits the character of Hound. Now, I guess the real question is, is if you have the original version, should you go out and pick up this MV version? I personally would say yes, as this is definitely the far more superior Hound than that previous one. It is more accurate in the vehicle mode, as well as in the robot mode with the improved pen applications. And the additional weapons also make it a very, very essential in your collection if you are into these more accurate figures. He's probably more of the ones that I recommend a little bit more. MB Bumblebee has got very subtle differences. This has major differences, hence why I'm recommending it so strongly. I hope that you enjoyed this comparison video. It wasn't necessarily intended to be a full-on review. I was just comparing it to the previous version as I did do a review on this guy when it initially came out back this time last year. If you enjoyed this comparison video, please let me know down in the comment section below. Please like, comment and share this video. And until my next review, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.